Ness. I think Ness is the right name for him. Ness, he smiles and hears his own name. I think he likes his name. Try putting that red cap on him. Ha ha ha, it's, it's too big, but at least it's here on him. I hope Sparky won't be jealous of the baby. Let's celebrate with some candy. This baby will grow up to be a hard worker just like you. I don't think he needs to be rich and famous, but I want to be a thoughtful, strong boy. That's odd. The baby got all the point at so he can move a little bit. going on guys and welcome back to some more Earthbound in the last part. Um we, we sent your boss in this part it turns us into sleep saving. Hey there's Everbread. Ness, maybe you don't want to hear this, but you remind me of myself when I was young. Can't do anything more for you. Good luck, Ness. It just turns to graphics. This is the realm of magic that we have mind created. So yeah, a lot of a lot of the gimmicks here is basically your memories. Like um I'm talking to this guy right here. Oh, and that was a quiet, small town, wasn't it? And this acts like a Scargo Express, so like, um, this is Tracy, so, um, you know, we might as well store a few Ness items. We don't need, we don't need the pencil eraser anymore. And, uh, we don't need... We don't need the vital capsule anymore, and we don't need um, the head bang, the head bag strap. And I think that's good. I think we're good for that. We go to this guy here. This shot has like twenty two pennants. So um, yeah, there's the earth pennant. Um, this keeps you against um. This is your defense, and, um, let's just buy it so we can see what it does. We're not gonna buy the Night Pennant, no. We're not gonna sell that. We're gonna buy maybe a couple Magic Puddings. Yeah, that's it. So, um, when we describe the Earth Pennant, first of all, let's equip back the Night Pennant. You may wonder why I'm doing that. Because the Earth Pennant, um... So you, if you use it, must be equipped on your body. Protection from life freeze or flash attacks. Isn't Night Pennant better than the Earth Pennant? So uh, we're just gonna stick with that, and we're even gonna drop it. For some reason, I just like the Night Pennant the most. And plus, I feel all it really works with Ness, in my opinion. The Night Pennant is, I think, is one of the best set items in the game. You destroyed my pride, or. Yeah, a lot of these are basically common things you find. A lot of these are basically things you found in the game. Like, there's Picky. Ness, Picky took my- Pokey took my snack. And there's Pokey. Ness, you're so lucky I envy you. I have no luck. But Ness, well, okay. Let's be friends forever, alright? This is Ness Ness Tombstone here. He heard earlier in the game and gave up the ghost. 42 years old. Now, there's a fan thing you just- that the grave is supposed to symbolize the player who gave up at this point. Take it, we'll take it with a grain of salt, whether I, I want to believe it or not. I'm your card, that's all you hear in Magic Man. I mean, I say Flyman. Take him with you, Flyman joins you. Music also changes. The Sea of Eden is filled with ultimate intelligence. You can't go there unless you're truly ready. It's a place where you can trust the truth of the Going there means sorrow. Now this is Magic Hand. This is an uh, area that appeared in Mother 1, and it's music that also appeared in Mother 1. Now these are new enemies. This is the Loaded Dice. Now they will throw bombs, and um... They will throw bombs and call for help, and over on um, The partner we just took with us! What I just took with us, however, is going to be a pretty big help, actually, believe it or not. Because, um, he survived long takes damage. Hey, me, I found my captain lost. And it's got the baseball cap. 
We don't need this. Well, actually, what is the baseball cap? Let me just, um, double check. Yeah, that drastically lowers our defense, so, um, we don't need that. Instead, let's get this. Bag of Dragonite. Make sure you get that. In fact, we're gonna get rid of something, um, we don't need the banana anymore. There is the, uh, item we're gonna get, we're gonna need in this part, and that's the new enemy. Well, here's another thing. You can encounter an uncontrollable sphere. We already encountered these enemies, but this is just another area where you can encounter these. Now, once Flying Man dies, um, not only that, um, he, um, not only that he no longer does it, not only that he's not able to, um, evade you anymore, he also acts as a gravestone. Yeah, that's next to that area. As long as he might, he's nice, he's nice to be able to get some uh, recovery, be able to avoid some damage. He's a high class UFO. Our, a lot of these are our enemies we've already seen. Fly Mega Hurt and Collapse, so yeah, so much for him. But, um. The high class UFO is an enemy in Burry. Actually, it's not our main world, is it? Um, Ness is now level 69, offense 100 by 1, max team by 2, max team by 2, but, um, yeah, actually, the high-class UFO is an enemy we've already seen. This is a new enemy, this is the Electro Swoosh. They will, uh, I believe they will use a PSI Thunder. It looks like they use Thunder Beta. You, you're gonna have a lot of love. Now, this is what I mean by being uh, very careful with how you level up over the course of this game. This applies if you get if you're doing this. Also applies if you're doing a 128 challenge. Make sure to get that goddess man. I almost forgot it, but um, this applies if you're doing a 128 challenge, or this applies if you're trying to go for the Sword of Kings. You get a massive upgraded upgrade in stats. Um, you get a massive upgrade in stats. However, if you are level 99 or greater, if you're level 99, which is the cap in this game, you don't get the stat boost. So, if you're doing a 128 challenge, or if you're going for the Sword of Kings in the uh, Stonehenge base, be very careful on how much you level up. And even here, if you're too high a level, maybe keep the enemy fighting to a minimum. Ooh, that was three times I'd use Fire Beta. And I didn't even get a level up out of that. Not Life Up Omega, but uh, one time they even moral there. We're gonna use one of our magic puddings and we'll recover 31 PP and uh, I'm not maybe use Life Up Alpha, but uh, Life Up Beta should get us killed fully. New enemy. So, um, yeah, all the loaded dice does is call for help, however, um, these, um, I can't see my monitor because it keeps disconnecting, but, um, yeah, the carefree bomb, they just throw bombs. Shit. This might be a game over! This might be a game over! No, it is not, thank god. Every bomb is broken to pieces, yes. No. See, uh, you have to be quick. You have to, this this is kind of a test also to test your battle your battle speed skills because they won't drop the game because um but there's just a lot of attacks in this area that can and kill Ness. Every bomb is broken to pieces, yes. Ness is now level 70, up by 1 by 1, guess what up by 1, max speed up by 2, max speed up by 1, Ness up by life up, yes, this is what we want. This is the best life up in the game, and it heals everyone. We're gonna use our other magic pudding, and uh, yeah, we're healed fully PP wise. Let's use a life up beta. Just 
Jesus, that was a pain in the ass. Look at how much XP, that's how much I kept missing the loaded dice, that's how much I kept calling for help. How much, but how much XP are we are to our level up? Yeah, one more battle. New enemy. It's the French Kiss of Death, they can poison you, and like that. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep doing it. We're just gonna keep, we're just gonna keep taking the damage control, cause like, we don't have any refreshing herbs, and uh, what, we're just gonna use healing beta. Here. Magic bat, yes! That's what we want. Let's raise our attack, and we can get rid of the other bat. We don't need the ultimate bat anymore. Make sure to get those upgrades for Ness also, because you might be in a hard you might have a hard time without them. These are new enemies, this are Mr. Molecules. Now uh they they're like the, the the enemies that don't that keep missing, except uh they'll start to concentrate once uh, a few turns hit. We've been seeing those quite a bit throughout the game. Now, some of these enemies will also know Flash, and that's another reason I recommend keeping the Night Pennant, is because, um... And that, and that, that's now all of a sudden one offense, whatever it was, defense, one point, two, number one, two, number one, max speed, number two, max speed, number two, yes. So, um... That's the only reason I recommend keeping the Night Pennant, is because, um... Yes, we got poisoned again. And no level up. Healing beta. Probably should have bought more magic puddings. I, maybe I can go. Actually, I think imagine. Let me just read the description. We have about 20 PP. Yes, we're gonna need that. I might not have gone in here as prepared as I thought I was gonna. More healing beta, and we're also gonna have to use life up because uh. I want to save PP and use it when I really need it, though, but, um... Okay, so, um... These are Mr. Molecules, I just know it. And this was really Mr. Molecules, and guess what? They were able to use PSI Freeze because, uh, I missed the attack. I want to make sure I have enough PP, because, um... Let's take this this out first. They can't use PSI like freeze. Okay. I'm good to keep Okay, no, I'm not. Thank God for that smash attack. Ness is now all of a sudden two. Oh baby, offense went up by six. Defense went up by one. Oh baby, guts went up by three. I can't read that because again, my monitor went out. But you went up by two. Oh baby, luck went up by two. Sweet, Max is up by 24. Max is up by one. 24 and one. Oh, I need that. I need that badly. And I don't need the battle. So now we got that out of our system. So, um... Welcome to the second part of Magic Ant. This is the part I was talking about, where you can get the upgrade. And that's level 99. Remember this guy? This is Kraken. Now, um... He... Now, uh, let's just say, um... He's gonna be a lot easier than before, because we're a lot stronger than before. Oh, shit! I say that as I'm almost dead. No, we're not. Oh yeah, he is a lot stronger than before, but he has the same amount of HP. Shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, he does a lot more attacks than before. Back was defeated, yes. We might be able to barely scrape through this. Like, I might not have been pre as prepared for this as I thought I was going to be. How much can get us another level up? I'd say, uh, so one more Kraken battle and can get us a level up. Ooh, 
you, you want to save your PSI for either healing or, um... You want to save your PSI for either... Oh, shit. Yeah, these no, they don't flash beta. They can flat out end your... They can flat out end your, uh... What am I trying to say? They can flat out kill you if you don't have the night pennant. If you don't have the night pennant, they can flat out kill you in one hit. So yeah, get the night pennant. Ness is now level 73, I queue up by 1, Max is here by 3, Max is here by 4. We are, we are starting to get warmer in terms of the boss. Let's see if I can sneak past that, because we don't have to fight all the Krakens. Well, let's see if we can sneak around him. I'm the evil part of your brain, you can't beat me because you're the one forcing me to be. Well, hardest bosses in the game, Ness's Nightmare. He will use your attacks also, and um, let's just say he will also, on top of that, use um, Flash Beta, which can instant kill you. So um, he's gonna use, he's gonna have a Shield Beta. So just get rid of the Shield Beta. Actually, on top, of, I'm not, I'm not thinking straight. Use Speed Night on him. He's not even, you know, like a beta, but, uh, that's gonna be 555 damage, and we have two of these. I, this is what I was saving these Bragged Dragonites for, this very moment. Because if you have two of them, um, this battle is very easy. Oh, shit. Oh, don't, come on, come on, Tex, go faster, go faster, go faster. He's almost down. He's almost down. We might be able to get through this. God, this is nerve wracking. No, 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 no. Okay, shield beta. This is when the problem this is. If you have to use it right away. Yeah, that's Flash Beta right there! Like I said, if you don't have the night pen, you can fly on your turn. Ness is not gonna stop moving. Yes, we did that in one try. Ness is now level 74. Offense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. Max HP went up by 1. Max HP went up by 2. Now, this is the part I've been hyping all playthrough. One of the best parts of the game, in my opinion, the upgrade. If you're level 99, which is the max you get in this game, you don't get the upgrade. Because you have to level up to get the upgrade. Ness heard a familiar voice at the center of the sea of Eden. Guys, his goal is to destroy you. Listen carefully. Everything in this universe can be destroyed at the hands of Gygus. But he and his followers are also in trouble. The Apple of the Lightning has foretold. That guy gets his attempts will fail is because of the of a boy named Ness. That's me. Listen. Free your mind and know what we must do. Your destiny has already been decided. You, I, where should we go? You know deep within the reaches of your mind. Sat. Gern. Saturn. Saturn Valley. Yes. Go to the valley where the Mr. Saturn lives. You'll get something new there. Doing magic camp will be no more. We must be quick. Here it comes. Ness really heard his own voice. Go to Saturn Valley. Go to Saturn Valley now. Here it comes. Ness was filled with the power of the giant step. Ness's speed increased by five. Ness's vitality increased by five. Ness was power filled with the power of the Lilliput steps. Ness's guts increased by five. Ness's luck increased by five. Ness would fill up the power of the Milky Well. Ness's speed increased by five. Ness's IQ increased by five. Ness would fill up the power of the Magic Hill. Ness's vitality increased by five. Ness's luck increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Rainy Circle. Ness's guts increased by five. Ness's IQ increased by five. Ness would fill up the pink power of the Pink Cloud. Ness's speed increased by five. Ness's guts increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Lum the Lumine Hole. Ness's luck increased by five. Ness's IQ increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Fire Spring. 
Ness's speed increased by five. Ness's luck increased by five. Instantly, Ness's mind cleared. He realized that he had possessed great power, and all that moment, Ness's psychic powers rapidly expanded. We got two hundred thousand experience points. Ness is now level seventy-five. Offense went up by one. Defense went up by one. Vitality went up by one. IQ went up by one. Sweet max HP went up by one hundred and sixty-one. That works. Max HP went up by three hundred and fifty-three. Ness has the power of PSI Mario, the best one. And finally, he has realized the power of teleport beta. You don't get the upgrade if you're level 99, so this is why I warned you against leveling up too much. Ness made all the hidden powers his own. Ness absorbed the power of the landing start and magic it was no more. You need to wake up. Your friends are waiting for you. It's time to get up. Sound style that Ness used to have is now gone. What happened, Ness? You're not gone for a long time. You kept saying something. Saturn Valley? What's waiting for us there? Anyway, we can teleport. Anyway, so now another character more than Pooh can learn how to te teleport beta. Ness can use it. And oh my god. Look at how look at how, how much stats Ness has now. Ness is essentially going to be your healer. He's gonna be the dominant party member now. Now there's one last thing I wanna do in Saturn Valley. One last thing I wanna do in Saturn Valley, so um go to the store. Is, that, is this not the right part? Is this, am, I, am, I, am, I, am I not doing this right? I know you can get something really good in the store. You can buy night pants now. Buy these for Paula and Jack. I swear to God, this will make your life so much easier if you do this. We can't buy one for Pooh, but we can buy one for Paula and Jack. I need to warn you this ahead of time. Buy a night pennant for Paula and Jack. You got that? Buy a night pennant for Paul and Jack. This will make the final part of the game so much easier. Anyway, so we're gonna um, cut off with of this part of Earthbound, so next time on Earthbound. Well, I wanna actually say, because it's the last thing I'm recording in this session. Next time on Earthbound. We gotta investigate what we can do in Saturn Valley and maybe potentially in this game. See you guys then.